Hello, my name is Nancy Lawyer. I'm the pharmacy director and an anticoagulation pharmacist at St. Francis Hospital and Health Services in Maryville, Missouri. I'm extremely honored to speak to you today. I was born and raised in Maryville. Yep, I'm a St. Francis baby. I believe the values of our organization are tightly bound to people such as those found in the rural areas we serve. These small towns embrace the concepts of compassion and caring, respect for hard work, and the expectation of doing the best that you can. Isn't that how excellence is defined? Stewardship is fundamental to maintaining the schools and local businesses, which are often the gathering place, and churches play an integral role as well. Community is more than just a gathering of people. It's an understanding that through common efforts, greater success can be seen. As a leader in our hospital, I believe we have a duty to be inspired and to bring exceptional care to those lives we touch. When I interviewed for the position of pharmacy director, which I was already performing, being the only pharmacist left at the time, <clears throat> I explained my intent to move pharmacy beyond the basement and out to where the patients were because that's where our services were needed most. At St. Francis, I was considered quite the rebel when I suggested we move away from the handwritten paper medication record, administration records and improve safety by using a computer-generated version that you could actually read. Later, when our friends at the Joint Commission identified developing an accurate home medication list as a priority, I said, the pharmacist should collect the home medication information in our orthopedic, orthopedic pre-op visits. Oh, and by the way, we will collect it down in the office just down the hall from where the pharmacy is located because if patients are having an orthopedic procedure, they probably have a mobility issue. Within the first two months of pharmacist's involvement, the error rate for the home medications record dropped significantly and the office nurses rapidly grew to appreciate our expertise. Most recently, with already successful examples in our own system to emulate, we formed a team to expand an existing service in our physician clinic. The anticoagulation clinic staffed by nurse practitioners and pharmacists opened in May of 2010. Our patients really like the team approach because they receive consistent care as well as right now results and instructions. They give back to us as well, as evidenced by the valentine I received from an 87-year young woman with this poem. Some say roses are red and violets are blue. My blood is red, so what do you do? You take some to help you decide, does she get one pill or two? That's a, really a, a reality that I really like to see, and I can't think of a better way to let me know I'm making a difference with the people who've been entrusted to me for care. Can you? Thank you, and enjoy the rest of the conference.